Okay, everybody, it's August 20th, 2023. Getting out, hopefully ahead of one of these squalls again. Thank you guys for being on all, all, on all these live feeds. We had the best live feed we've ever had. There were over 1,600 people watching at one point. I could not believe it. So hopefully, hopefully you guys really are enjoying this. I'm sorry it's been so far kind of a dud, but I'm doing the best I can. It's not my fault. It's not my fault, but I always get disappointed for you guys. And obviously for myself. But right now we're gonna do one of the regular videos in 4K um, over towards Sugarloaf. We just went to Sugarloaf for the live feed, but we're gonna go to Sugarloaf, drive through Irwin a little bit, do some Baldwin, and then we're gonna come home. We're gonna do the side of town that we have not done yet. And it's, it's the side of town that should be getting hit the hardest, by the way. So that's, that's gonna be great. Did you see when I pulled up the Stater Brothers for the, uh, for the generator? Oh, how cool is that thing? Holy smokes. Imagine if we had that, we could run like 300 TVs on that thing, babe. Say hi, baby. Hi. Hey, guys. <laughs> That's my beautiful bride right there. All right, it's 62 degrees, 626 p.m. And we are getting a good steady rain. Apparently, we've had just over three inches of rain now in in the area which that's a pretty darn good storm for us there's a potential for another two to three inches of rain if everything works out so keep your fingers crossed it's definitely making this little lake here a lot deeper so i'm hoping that it translates into something significant for our main lake I mean, this just feels like a winter storm. It's so crazy, you guys. wipers for the top speed we haven't had to really do this yet so I'm glad we came out at, at this time and it should get worse and worse the further we go this direction guys Okay, so we're on Big Bear Boulevard, you guys, in Big Bear City. Our friend Susan keeps on reminding me that I need to tell you guys where the heck I'm at, so you guys know. And she's absolutely right. So we're on Big Bear Boulevard, about to get to Dead Man's Curve, which is right here. And we're going to be going up to Sugarloaf. Since we went through part of Main Sugarloaf in the live feed, I think we're just going to go through one of the front neighborhoods, Maple Ridge. This is the neighborhood, a neighborhood that I want to live in because it feels like you're down the mountain, but you're still in the mountains. There aren't that many trees. It's, it's, it just reminds me of kind of being back home a bit. Definitely the heaviest rain I've seen yet. How about you, baby? Um, yeah, I think so. It's like it's been pretty steady all day. It has. 
has been. Definitely, but it hasn't been anything like they promised us. And as There's you still time. Yeah, th th you have a good attitude. Thank you. They've been they've been really like nice. It's not over until it stops raining, and then we'll know that that it was a dud when the rain's over. True. I mean, I still think we could get if we get six plus inches total, it could still, in my mind, be a dud because we didn't get the heavy torrential downpours. We didn't get the winds. But again, I'm excited to get that much rain because it's going to be very impactful for our beautiful lake. friends from Spain on the channel. Guys, that live feed was crazy. It was almost 1,700 people, or no, it was a little bit over 1,700 people, I think, at one point watching. We got like 800 or 900 likes. It was, it's just crazy. I've, I've never experienced anything like that. I'm looking forward to this channel growing, and I'm looking forward to putting myself on the line for you guys. Thank you guys for always wanting me to be safe and showing me a lot of love. Especially thank you guys for being so sweet to my wife. Okay, so we are definitely in the depths of Big Bear City. We are coming up to Maple, and we're gonna turn on Maple. And we're just gonna do a short little drive in, into Maple Ridge so you guys can see the neighborhood that I feel like looks like down the hill neighborhoods. Newer construction, not as many trees. It's not like your house is surrounded by a canopy of trees. Of course, when I first moved here, that was something I loved. I was so, I'm, trust me, I'm still happy where I live, but now I'm getting kind of sick of the, uh, of all the uh, trees above my house because we get bombed with pine cones and branches all the time. Look at this, this gutter right here. It's flowing pretty good. Did you see this part? I mean, I've seen this gutter where it's like... Yeah, crazy, huh? Just, so this is not... Like, oh. Yeah, I saw the whole thing. Here's some good puddles. Woo! Okay, we're going to turn left here. homes up here so guys this is the neighborhood I'm telling you about it's got beautiful homes up here just just something else they still get a great amount of snow up here and it, it feels like you're down the mountain. Love it, love it, love it. You know what, we're gonna turn right here and then kinda 
we're kind of all all the way through the neighborhood for the most part but we're going to turn down this next street real quick and then take the u-turn at the bottom come back out hit those puddles one more time and then go down baldwin lane look at how much water fell into baldwin but oh my gosh look at baldwin babe if it got that that much water then we are super stoked U-turn right here. Alright. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So this is a neighborhood I never really hit much on this channel. Apparently we just got a notification that in a couple hours it's supposed to get really, really bad. But we will see. If it does, you guys know I'm going to go back out. We only get one tropical storm a lifetime. So I will be out in the midst of it. The eye of the storm won't be here till like 2 or 3 in the morning though. It doesn't look like there's that, that much moisture associated with the center of circulation right now. But it's going to bring, that's, that's going to bring us the wind. So I'm very excited about that. And I hope you guys are stoked too. some fun puddles that we will definitely be able to hit so I, again during during the live feed I was telling everyone how much of a child I am because I love doing that stuff but we don't live in the south or or the southeast where it rains every day this time of year okay uh, you know what we'll be good if, if we go left here get some of this puddle right here Nothing to do with Baldwin Lake Road. But yeah, these rains are coming down really good right now. I'm, I am excited. This is a good half an inch per hour rain if it keeps up. So. We will take it. I'm waiting for the one inch per hour rains though. That's what's going to make me really happy. It's amazing how there's puddles on the downhill slope. It, just, it doesn't make sense to me. So we're going to hit Irwin Lake, you guys, to see what's going on in Irwin. And then we're going to drive through Baldwin and take North Shore home. Cool, man. Over here, if we turn right, there's some extreme mansions. I mean, some big, big, big mansions over here. But we're not turning right. Now we're on Highway 38. We're going to be turning right onto Highway 38. Here we go. This is how you get out of town. This is one of the ways to leave town. If you stay on this about 30 or 40 miles, you will be in Mentone and then Redlands, Kaipa area. Yes. That oil's 
still has to be good because yeah. I've worked in some restaurants where they change the oil once a week. Yeah. But it gets expensive. I'd get the burger, they we cleaned it every single day. He was so OCD about we that in every place, yeah. cleanliness. Like, I mean, it was the cleanest place I've ever eaten or worked in my entire life. The kitchen. I mean, they were obsessive about it, but I liked that because I, I am a germaphobe, guys. When it comes to people touching my food or stuff like that, like uh, I've I've always been quite a germaphobe. Okay, we are on State Lane in Irwin Lake. So we're gonna go up until we get to the dirt road and then turn around. We're just gonna stay on the main road right here. Can I roll that down for two seconds? So there's a beautiful mountain view right there usually. When we get big snowstorms, those mountains are covered and it looks so gorgeous. Thank you. So gorgeous. golfing Thursday and now that I think the golf course won't be as messed up as I thought I might consider it but kind of low on fundage right now you know what's crazy guys this part of this neighborhood the speed limit is 40 miles per hour Unless they changed it. I noticed a sign at the beginning of Irwin that said 25 and then here at the end it's saying 25 also. So good. That's good. Because just until recently it was 40 miles an hour on State Lane. Which is just ridiculous. There's a lot of kids out here. It's crazy. Look at the flooding on the dirt road. I am so excited. Are we going to try to go on it, babe? Yay! Wow, look at the flooding. All right, guys, hopefully we don't get stuck up here. Look at this beautiful equestrian area out here. Horse ranches. Oh, look at all this water. all over the place right now. Hey, it's our buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> no. Hi, how are you, Rachel? Good, how are you? Oh, so young, what happened? <laughs> um, I've been sleeping. She's you, finally getting rest. I've been getting sleep. You look marvelous. Okay. Sandra, can I show you to my YouTube fans? Right now? Well, I'm doing a live video. Oh, well, yes, yes, whatever I can do to help. Hi, That's hi, Sandra, one of the nicest people in this whole entire town. She treats me like a son. She's a wonderful lady. Thank you very much for that compliment. Thank you for everything and all your kindness towards me. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. You're easy to be nice to, though. Oh, thanks. Yes, I, so I appreciate yes, that, Sandra. And I love everything you do for us. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And you, as his uh, co-pilot. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Sandra. Oh, oh be care careful out care there. Careful, careful. Oh, Bye, Sandra. Bye, sweethearts. Be safe. You too. Was she joking or? No, no, she got blown oh, over. Oh, goodness. She, her umbrella just, <laughs> poor thing. Huh? Did you catch it? Yeah. <laughs> poor thing. Not like the whole thing, but yeah, I was like, uh, yeah, a, a gust of wind like, like sent her backwards a bit. Thank goodness uh, she stayed on her feet. 
She's an angel. She's such a nice lady. All right. <clears throat> yeah, babe, I would love to live out here on this on this big ranch out here. But the only problem is, again, it seems like the nicer areas to live up here are far away from any of the stores, the post office, and this and that. When I first moved up here, it, I would have been like, people are really complaining about a five mile drive, that's nothing. But now that I've lived here for eight and a half years, a five to six, six mile drive up here is just a pain in the butt. Next stop, Cooplesville. Next stop's gonna be in Baldwin Lake. We're gonna go through, drive through Baldwin Lake. It's getting pretty hot in here. It's getting hot in here. So turn off all the heat. I am getting so hot. I'm gonna turn off the heat. about that probably gonna see the windiest place that we've seen so far during the tropical storm when I went to Grout Creek it got pretty windy on that creek it was, it was pretty cool but I thought there'd be a little bit of a waterfall babe there was nothing absolutely nothing Again, we are on State Lane and we're gonna be turning onto Highway 38 again, heading back into town. But instead of turning left on Big Bear Boulevard, we're gonna make a right and that turns into Shea Road. We're gonna take Shea Road, which turns into Baldwin Lake Road, all the way to Highway 18. We're making good time. I didn't think there would be enough light to do all this. And it's starting to rain pretty good again. city right now population 6,025 elevation 6,250 feet or no 6,750 
too amusing at the moment. All right, this is Shea Road. If you would have turned left, you would have been on the start of Big Bear Boulevard. And the further and deeper we get into this area, you'll see why the winds usually pick up pretty good. Because there's literally, I mean, there's not literally no trees, but there's hardly any trees the further back we get. It's just a big open area. Baldwin Lake looks 
so pretty though because of all the extra water. Glad we came over here. This is awesome. Look at this running stream. I know they say you're not supposed to cross this stuff, but we're good. lake it has added a lot of water to the lake holy moly hey did you see that mm -hmm. guys when i just did a video about a week ago when we drove by baldwin i think in the title i had mentioned how little water remains in baldwin lake and now it looks like more than it ever had it's it could be an optical illusion from this angle but it really looks pretty amazing so i'm hoping that is the case that means that these people who have really fair rents out here, who live close to the lake, have lakefront property for most of the year. Apparently, this was always full many, many years ago. And this was the main lake up here. And Big Bear Lake was naturally a bigger lake than it is now, which is really weird. And that's without a dam.
guys. So if we made a right-hand turn here, you would literally in a quarter mile start driving down the mountain on the backside into the desert. If you turn right here, you'll be going to Lucerne Valley. Make this right turn. Let me just roll down the window a little bit so you can see. Oops, wipes get soaked, so we're gonna stop that. But yeah, we're gonna be going left here to head back around Baldwin Lake and into Big Bear City and then into Big Bear Lake and we will be done. And then again, there will probably be another video later on tonight. I'm very proud of what I put into this for you guys because I do love you guys a lot and you guys make it worth it for me. You guys give me a lot of energy. And the excitement that you guys show makes me so excited too, so. Wow, it's really pouring here now. The wind is blowing pretty good. You can see the rain blowing across the street. Look at the rain blowing straight ahead in the sky. Do you see that, babe? Wow. Wow. It's just blowing sideways right now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like right above that telephone pole, it's just craziness. Now we're going to be driving straight into it. Woo! Yeah, Baldwin has grown a lot because of this storm. I don't know if you guys will, will be able to see. This is definitely the heaviest I've seen all storm, for sure. So we did good coming out right now. Remember you guys, we're just about at just under 7,000 feet elevation up here.
it's raining so hard, it's, it's still hard to see out of the windshield with my windshield wipers on as fast as they can go. And we're only going 30 miles per hour. So imagine if we were going the speed limit, which is 55, imagine how much harsher it would be on our windshield right now. We're about to enter Big Bear City again from the Baldwin Lake area. There will be a sign coming up here on the right hand side discussing the population and the elevation.
state of Nevada. I mean, this is a monster storm. side. Oh, it's so beautiful. Alright guys, well I think that's going to be it for this video. Again, if it picks up even more later, we're going to definitely be going out. At least I, bless you. Bless you, bless you. At least I will for sure. Alright, let's see here. There's Big Bear Boulevard. We're turning right on Big Bear Boulevard. All right, babe, say our goodbyes. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Subscribe, help the channel out, hit the like button. Um, I do work super hard for you guys. Um, not that it matters, because I'm still going to do these anyway, because you guys like it. So, yeah. Help me out though, I'd appreciate it. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of Tropical Storm Hillary, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out, August 20th, 2023 at 7.15 p.m., 59 degrees.